Craig, uh, top six, uh, or sorry, rather bottom six fixtures coming up for, for the split at the end of the season. First one up against Hibs. You've got a pretty good recent record against Hibs. How confident are you that you can take three points in that game? Well, that's the intention, um, of course, but there's a lot of things can happen in, in 90 minutes plus. Um, and Hibs are a good side. So for us to achieve our aim, we, we need to play really well. Um, the training has been good this week, but it's not always a indication that things are going to go well at the weekend. But I've been happy with them, and uh, I'm hopeful, shall we say. You've been obviously picking up results on the road at home. That your your last home win was was actually against Hibs last mm. year. How critical do you think it is to to rectify your your home record to avoid the bottom two? Um, yeah, we want to try and win every match. I mean, whether it's at, at home or or away. Um, and you know, I remember sitting here two or three months back talking about how bad our away record was. Um, and we we've managed to do a little bit better in that uh, regard. So as I said, I'm uh, I've been pleased with the training this week. Um, and I'm hopeful that we can we can take all three points. And and how do you kind of see the the, the league table? It's obviously getting quite tight. Ross County have started to, to pick up points. Um, do you think this is something that, that could go right down to the wire, potentially the last game of the season? Well, it might do, I don't know. Um, all I can really concentrate on at the moment is, is you know, what I think Hibs are, are going to bring to the table tomorrow um, and see if we can deal with that. And, uh, whatever happens after that, so, you know. And uh, a bit of a break from your, your last game with the, the cup fixtures, does that allow you to do anything different or allow you a little bit more time to, 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 to prepare players for, for this game? Um, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, we have had a little bit of time to, to prepare. I mean, it, it's just our um, it's a lack of consistency at times that, that, uh, that gets me a little bit frustrated. Um, and, you know, I'm hoping, as I say, that, that we've prepared properly, we're ready to go and... Uh, Whilst we take into account that Hibs are a good side, then we we really need to get three points. And so, so what what do you, have you is there anything that you've been able to, to put your finger on over the last few weeks to, to, to try and rectify that that consistency? Um, yeah, we've just been trying to train really well. Um, you know, obviously, we the last two results against Hibs have been pretty good, um, and you know, just you know, we look at our opposition and, and trying to work out. How we can nullify them. Um, we've done that again this week, and uh, you know I'm hopeful that we can be creative enough to to create chances and score, and uh, that would give us a good chance to win. And team news: Is there anyone who's who's been out recently that's? Um, we've break? got who have we got? We've got uh, DJs back in training. Uh, Cary McPherson's training. Um, Trey Wright is back in, in training. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's quite encouraging, not just for, for obviously tomorrow, but for the remaining matches before the end of the season, because I'm pretty sure they'll all be able to help us at some point. Do you think maybe one of those players could be the, the, the big difference maker in a runner, someone who's maybe been out for, for some time and come back, fresh legs? and? Well, perhaps, you know, perhaps. I mean, and, and you know... And, Hopeful that they can bring something to the to the squad, and uh, you know, be in, they'll be involved at some point tomorrow. Um, and it's just good to see them get back on the training ground, and you know, hopefully, give them opportunities to get back on the field. Thank you. Problem. Craig, the, the, um, are you looking at these next sort of the post split games as kind of five cup finals? To... Um, yeah, I mean, they're massively important. Matches, um, we recognise that, of course, um, and you know I, I, I'm not working with a group of players who who aren't up for the the fight. You know we've, we've proven that that uh, you know even if we do get beat, we do go down fighting. That's for sure. So yeah, we just, all I can do just now is really think about Hibs and and see if we can do enough to to get past them, get the points, and uh, that will give us a. Um, a platform for, for moving on to the next match. And you've spoken about Benji, Kim Pilker and Adama and the pace mm -hmm. and, and so on and, and the possibility of playing the two of them mm -hmm. together. 
um, that will terrify some of the defences. In, in the yeah, they, they are very um, similar in, in some regards in the fact that they both like to, to run in behind um, to, to, stretch the mat, uh, to stretch the game. Um, we have been using Nicky alongside Adama mostly. Uh, but again, Benji, Benji's a very important member of the squad and you know, I'm sure you'll see him tomorrow. At some point. Yeah, at some point. <laughs> Best of luck tomorrow. Okay. Let's hope it all goes Thank well. you.